Michaela, thank you. And now scaring on a street corner near you, Providence ghost tours are stirring up spirits in the capital city. And of course, the week leading up to Halloween is one of the best times to see some of the most haunted sites in Providence. Take a look. We're beginning our, par our tour here at Prospect Park. Dressed in black with a lantern to light the way. Now the holy grail of the ghost world is the specter. Courtney Edge Matos has tales to tell. He took the piece of skin and he peeled the two layers of skin, the dermis versus the epidermis. Traveling the streets of the capital city's east side, the Providence Ghost Tour chillingly entertains with stories of the paranormal and beyond. The ghost tour is based on a huge amount of information. We spent nine months just doing research before we set the tour on its feet. Um, it was very important that we understood the history of the area so we could understand sort of the experiences that the ghosts had had when they were, you know, people roaming around. This Providence neighborhood is home to many different historic properties, some with some pretty haunting stories. One of our sort of most notorious stops on the tour, it's one of the very first stops that we take, and it's the Woods Gary Mansion. It's uh, Rhode Island School of Design's admissions building. And that building is, it may ruin your night tonight, Rhodes Show, because um, the cameras often drain out when we go on the property. And all along this 90-minute storytelling tour, the tour guides talk about the lives and deaths of many Rhode Islanders. And the woman looked at the man, and the man looked at the woman, and I said, are you all right? And she said, you're not going to believe me. As they were coming in the gates, they noticed, I don't know if you guys saw, the little stone bench that's just on the outside of the gates. Sitting on that bench on Halloween night of 2006 was a boy wearing the best costume she had seen. He was wearing this very authentic looking Revolutionary War soldier costume. And so she pointed him out to her husband. She said, honey, look. And poof, the boy was gone. People who had died very suddenly and very unexpectedly are more known to become ghosts because the deaths were unexpected. So we tried to correlate the deaths that we found with reported hauntings in the area. While the tour is not recommended for young children, school-age kids have taken field trips with Providence Ghost Tours, and the tour guides love it when participants of all ages share their pictures of their experience, sometimes with a chilling surprise. We've witnessed a lot of paranormal activity on these tours. We've got a photo gallery on our website that kind of chronicles some of the things that people have found. <laughs> So creepy. For more ticket information on those Providence ghost tours, just head to foxprovidence.com.